Good morning, everyone, and welcome to CT Style. I'm Teresa Dufour. And I'm Ryan Christopher. Hopefully, you're having a very happy Wednesday. How are you doing today, Teresa? No complaints. Everything's yeah. good. Feels like summer out. Finally, Not right? so bad. Hey, we want to say hi to our fan of the day, Teddy Riley. He stops by our Facebook page often and gives us some feedback, which we always appreciate. All the time. He says he really liked the Mother's Day show. Oh, very nice. Beth and Mary did a good job, right? Or as we love to call them, Mary Beth. Just combine. Your nickname. <laughs> Might as well, right? And you can be our fan of the day, too. All you have to do is connect with us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever you got to do. Now, Teresa, are you a big fan of Olive Garden? I am not. You're not? I mean, the breadsticks can't go wrong with the breadsticks. The breadsticks sticks. and the salad, they're like endless uh, on both sides. But apparently, Olive Garden is uh, now doing sandwiches with their breadsticks. So All they're right. taking that as the bun, and you can order breadstick sandwiches from the lunch menu. I would try that. I definitely would do that. There's chicken parm. There's meatball. Uh, it looks pretty good there, and you also get breadsticks with your sandwich. Oh, that's very healthy. In case healthy. you didn't get enough breadsticks. Yes, the more the merrier, right? More, more butter and garlic. Nothing better than that. Uh, I, I guess they're just going to be wider on the bun. That's all. That's different. Um, so yeah, <laughs> very yummy and healthy alternative there. Beginning of June, Garden. we can try that. Yeah. Check this out. There's a family of black bears that gave these tourists a scare in Montana. It looks like wildlife watchers got a little too close for comfort, oh. and the mama cubs started running towards them. Like that. Wow, Ooh. now the spectators seem to make a few mistakes. According to the Montana Fish, Wildlife, and Parks Commission, you should stay at least 100 yards away from the bear, right? Oh. Keep that in mind. Thank you for telling us. Thank and you, thank it, you. It's never a good idea to run away. It triggers a predator response. So, oh my gosh, look so at that. Just he's, walk he's really... away. There's some problems in Connecticut with bears. I mean, we've been reporting it uh, freak all week, actually. Yeah. There's been sightings. So. so, So, what are you supposed to do? Lay down or curl up? I think just walk away peacefully, let them be. Okay. Don't throw things at them, All don't right. harass them. Well, we'll keep that in mind for our next bear encounter here <laughs> on the set on CT style. Now, this next story is a little interesting. This is a video that was shot by two daredevils with a GoPro uh, from Russia and Ukraine. Okay, they've posted their attempt to climb a 2,200 foot tall skyscraper in China. Oh! Now, the climber that. snuck in on the Chinese New Year when all the workers were gone. They spent the night, picked a few locks, and then scrambled up the construction crane at the very top of the 115 story finance center. Okay, no word on whether they're going to face any charges. Did they make it to the top? Everyone's okay? Uh, yeah, apparently everybody's all right, and they made it to the top there. That is That freaky. is a really high uh, climb. What, what, what's the point of that, though? Like, what are you achieving? I mean, you, you're, you're achieving the summit, but... Uh, and you're breaking the law and trespassing on yes. top of that. Have you Very ever... bad. Tisk tisk. I have never trespassed the law. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We bungee jumped, oh. like, off the side of a building no. or any of that? No, have you? Have you no. done anything no. wild? No interest in doing that. Have you ever that. trespassed the law? Have you ever? Never. No? Oh. I'm a law-abiding citizen. <laughs> of course not. Hey, it's time for...